Good morning, everyone. Whether you be in uh, the U.S. or Canada, you can't forget our Canadian followers, or Australia, or any other many other countries that uh, people, um, viewers are watching from. Here's a shout out to you all. I don't have a morning shout out to anyone picked out yet. Um, okay, so uh, let's give a shout out to, um, let me just pick one. How about, uh, let's give a shout out to Missy at Shadows of the Moon. She does a very interesting uh, weekly show. I know she's kind of been off. You know, because her partner, Eddie, has been having problems and has been sick and in the hospital having surgeries. Um, but I believe he's doing good now. He's in recuperation and hopefully he'll be back and Misty's channel will be back. And what Misty uh, covers is a, a variety of content, uh, weird and strange things she finds on the news and stuff and a, a wide assortment of stuff and uh she'll read the articles and discuss them with the panel and normally her panel is hilarious she, she gets some of the the most funniest people on there and um and i'll give a shout out to eddie's channel later on and down the road maybe once he's back in and, and doing his thing again and so, uh, yes, shout out to Missy at Shadows of the Moon. I will leave her link down below in the description. Anyway, I got my candles all set up. Let's get right to uh, this morning's reading. Now, once again, I am using the Ghost Tarot deck. And I may use this up until uh, the eclipse period is over, which ends on Saturday the 4th. And I believe on that date we have a solar eclipse. So what's, what this period we're going on right now is not a good one. It's a lot of change, a lot of weird stuff happening. Weird energies going on. I shuffled them. Didn't lose any this time. Cut the deck. And that one wanted to stick. So let's, let's do it this way. Now, let me flip over a card. The King of Pentacles. That's what this is. It's the King of Pentacles. And look at the detail in it. There's a lot of detail. But it's upside down, too. When I pulled it, it was this way. So for you all, it is an upside down card. So let me read the reversed meaning of this card. And let's see how that goes. Now, when you have the reversed king of pentacles, it means that he's fallen from his throne. Once the king of a prosperous kingdom, it is taken away from him or lost. Disconnected from the energy of his suit, he may have been impatient. He may have been too indulgent. He may have gambled too far and outstretched himself. He may have sought shortcuts that led him to ruin. He may become too focused on material, only understanding the cost of things and never their value. The King of Pentacles, when reversed, may also signify that your definition of success and happiness is only determined by outer appearances and not by the true value that security and stability can bring to you it is a time for you to cultivate 
a more holistic attitude to the material world to find an authentic happiness. In terms of love, this card can mean someone dear to you is currently facing issues due to matters concerning his or her career. When it comes to finances, the King of Pentacles reversed is telling you to look at the long-term goal. You may be facing financial issues, but do not look at yourself as a failure. Stay positive and understand that this is just a phase in your life. When given the chance again, do not make choices based only on short-term picture. The King of Pentacles' appearance in a reading can indicate some sort of material loss or loss in reputation. Beware that you do not replicate his mistakes. Now, the love card meeting of the reverse King of Pentacles is stubborn, conservative, greedy, and materialistic. They may do practically anything to get their hands on more resources, so be wary of characters in your love life that may only be using you. On one hand, this person may be irresponsible and unreliable, choosing to gamble away their resources. On the other hand, this person can use their material means in a way of controlling their partner and their family. If this doesn't signal a person in your life right now, the King of Pentacles tarot love meeting can suggest a period of emotional or financial insecurity, jealousy, or manipulation or coercion. Career-wise, when it comes to work, the reverse King of Pentacles can signal unsuccessful work projects or, at worst, the closing of a business or the loss of a job. There can be a lot of instability when it comes to work. You may be tired of your job, and this can highly affect the quality of your work as your motivation drops. Sometimes this card can also signal a ruthless person at work may discourage you or try to undermine you. It is important to ignore his negativity and focus on what you need to do. Engaging with such selfish, greedy, and manipulating people will only drag you down. Instead, concentrate on your own career and doing your best. If you've been looking for a promotion or a raise, the King of Pentacles can sometimes point to you needing more experience. Financially, in a monetary context, the reverse king of pentacles can suggest a financial loss, or in the worst case scenario, bankruptcy and debt. Financial resources can be tough right now. You may have gambled away your savings or made poor financial decisions. Alternatively, the reverse king of pentacles can signal that you may be hoarding your resources and your stinginess may make others think negative of negatively of you all right so there you go and one more view of it here but actually to your sight he should be more like this upside down topsy-turvy everything's turned on its head and that's normally the case when a card's reversed the good meanings generally become negative ones when uh, it's reversed. And I believe that is just the negative effects of this full moon. Now I'm losing my cards everywhere. And that dreaded planet, Algo. Sometimes I just like saying that. Algo. It sounds like something you put on your salsa. Salsa with algo. Now, on to my ne next segment, which involves the spice cinnamon. And you would not believe all the beneficial medical magic and smudging uh, abilities that this herb has. So, stay tuned. I wanna live with a cinnamon girl. 
Now, cinnamon is highly regarded for its sweet flavor, yet somewhat spicy flavor. It makes a great addition to so many dishes. It spices up otherwise bland foods. But while cinnamon certainly tastes delicious, there are much more to this spice than its flavor. Cinnamon has been used medicinally for thousands of years. It's an excellent source of several vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that are vital for your health. These include manganese, calcium, iron, vitamin K, which is also potassium, I believe, and fiber, uh, zinc, dietary fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, which is very good for you, and uh, many other nutrients. Um, and it only has 19 calories per serving and zero fats and sugars. Because it's so nutrient rich, adding cinnamon to your diet won't only make your foods taste better, but it'll also allow you to reap tremendous amounts of health benefits. How can cinnamon enhance your health? Here's a look at ways this spice will literally spice up your overall health and well being. Cinnamon can help to reduce clotting, it slows the body's release of arachidonic acid which triggers clotting. I think I pronounced that right. Cinnamon is loaded with several different types of antioxidants. Antioxidants are important for your health as they reduce the effects caused by free radical damage and slows the process of aging. Now we know Betty White's secret. She eats a lot of cinnamon. As a matter of fact, Researchers have found that cinnamon contains an astonishing 41 protective compounds in cinnamon, and they are confident that it contains even more. Cinnamon is one of the top sources of antioxidants. By consuming this spice, you can reduce and repair damage to cells, tissues, and muscles. Another health benefit of cinnamon is the anti-inflammatory properties it contains, while inflammation can be helpful for the body in excess, it can do severe damage. Too much inflammation can increase the risk of heart disease, cognitive decline, cancer, diseases of the liver, and much more. Scientists have discovered more than several different types of flavonoid compounds in cinnamon, all of which help fight inflammation. It can reduce the risk of heart disease, certain types of cancers, digestive health issues, and can also be used for pain management. Several studies have found that cinnamon can reduce several of the risk factors that are associated with heart disease. These include high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, and high triglyceride levels. Cinnamon contains compounds that can help reduce LDL levels, the bad type of cholesterol. It has also been found to lower high blood pressure. So it's no secret that a healthy heart is vital for your overall health and well-being. And eating more cinnamon can help to improve the health of your heart. Your blood does a number of things for your body. It contains oxygen-rich red blood cells, which is transported through the rest of your body, providing all your organs with the oxygen they need to, need to thrive. Unfortunately, Blood doesn't always circulate efficiently. When this happens, it can lead to several health conditions, including high blood pressure, heart disease, and increased risk of stroke, and not to mention it can damage other organs in your body. Wow, uh, I, I guess I need more cinnamon because I've had several strokes. Cinnamon enhances blood flow, thereby improving the quality of your health. Another health benefit of cinnamon is its ability to combat diabetes. Despite its sweetness, the spice can actually help to lower blood sugar levels. On top of that, it also improves your body's sensitivity to insulin, a hormone that plays a vital role in balancing your blood sugar levels. Cinnamon can actually block alanines, enzymes that aid in the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream. As a result, it can help to lower the amount of glucose that makes its way into the blood, which can combat the effects of diabetes. 
As we've already discussed, cinnamon is very rich in antioxidants. These antioxidants play a vital role in combating and preventing the damage caused by free radicals. Research has shown that free radicals can damage the health of the brain, leading to cognitive decline, including progressive conditions such as dementia and Alzheimer's disease, as well as Parkinson's disease. In addition to providing antioxidants that can cause cognitive decline, cinnamon can also activate neuroprotective proteins that actually shield the cells of the brain, protecting them from damage. Cinnamon might also be able to help reduce the risk of developing some types of cancer. Again, the antioxidants that this spice contains are to thank for the possible health benefits. They can help in shielding your DNA from becoming damaged, protect against mutation of cells, and prevent the growth of cancerous tumors. Several studies have found cinnamon could possibly reduce the risk of cancer because it contains a compound called cinnamaldehyde. Never heard of that. This compound performs all of the above-mentioned functions, which could lower your chances of developing certain types of cancer. If you are looking to shed a few pounds, consider adding more cinnamon to your diet. This spice can actually help your blood burn stored fat, which can lead to weight loss. It also controls insulin levels, decreasing blood sugar levels, can increase your metabolism, and can suppress your appetite. All of these weight loss properties of cinnamon are thanks to the incredible compounds that it contains. While you wouldn't think that adding something sweet to your diet could help you lose weight, in the case of cinnamon, it actually does. If you are suffering from frequent bad breath, and you know who you are, (laughs) despite how much you brush and use mouthwash, cinnamon could be the cure you are looking for. Cinnamon contains an essential oil which has been found to have a potent effect on the bacteria that resides in your mouth and throat that can lead to bad breath. By chewing on a stick of cinnamon, mm, uh, munch away, or by drinking a cup of cinnamon tea, you could significantly improve the freshness of your breath. Plus, this spice has a sweet scent, which will further improve your breath. In addition to fighting bad breath, cinnamon can also help to improve your oral health overall. The bacteria that cause bad breath to do more than just make your breath unpleasant, it can also do damage to your teeth and gums. Add to that the fact that cinnamon is a great source of calcium, a vital nutrient for the health of your teeth, and cinnamon can really do wonders for your oral health. Everyone knows that calcium is crucial for the health of your bones. If you aren't getting enough calcium, you'll lose bone density, which can cause your bones to become brittle and weak leaving you more susceptible to fractures and breaks. It can also make you more prone to developing osteoporosis. Cinnamon contains high amounts of calcium, which can help strengthen your bones and can prevent the aforementioned issues. If you want to improve the health of your bones, consume more cinnamon. Oh boy, here we go again. (laughs) Yeast infections are the result of candida, a type of yeast. When this yeast grows in excessive amounts, it can lead to uncomfortable and potentially troubling medical conditions. Several studies have found that cinnamon can actually help combat yeast infections and even prevent them. That's because cinnamon has powerful antifungal properties. Since candida is a type of fungus, consuming cinnamon could help you fight off a yeast infection or prevent you from developing one in the first place. You can either consume cinnamon or apply an essential oil topically to ease or prevent yeast infections. Science has found that cinnamon has both antimicrobial and antibiotic effects, both of which can shield the skin from several afflictions. The spice can actually prevent and treat rashes, infections, and allergic reactions that affect the skin. If you are prone to skin problems or you have developed a rash or infection, try applying some cinnamon essential oil onto the affected site. It can help to reduce inflammation, redness, pain, and swelling in the skin. Mix it with some honey and you'll get even greater results. 
because honey is a an, uh, an, an natural antibiotic. And in fact, they make uh, they make patches with has honey on them because they help heal faster. So honey is another thing. It's not a spice, and I don't think you can you can smudge with it. But uh, yeah, honey's honey's a useful thing to have to treat. Maybe I'll talk about that some other day. Several studies have found that cinnamon can offer relief for allergy sufferers. This spice contains several compounds that can actually boost the immune system and reduce inflammation. As a result, it can fight off reactions to histamines. If you suffer from allergies, try using a cinnamon essential oil to prevent reactions. You can either place one in a diffuser and allow the oil to infiltrate your home and cleanse the air, or you can apply it topically. If you have suffered from an allergic reaction and have broken out in hives, try placing some cinnamon oil on your skin to reverse the swelling. Everyone knows that the immune system is the body's first line of defense against infection, illness, and diseases. Not only does it prevent the development of certain health conditions, but it also helps to combat ailments should they arise. The immune system responds to antigens, which can trigger it into action. Cinnamon contains many compounds, all of which can do wonders for strengthening the immune system. However, while there isn't enough scientific proof yet to back up these claims, those who practice holistic medicine swear by cinnamon for a stronger immune system. Sometimes you just have a craving for sweet. Unfortunately, a lot of sweet foods contain high amounts of sugar, which can cause weight gain and can be damaging to your health in a number of other ways. Cinnamon, however, is a natural way to sweeten your food without adding sugar to it. The spice is naturally sweet. Despite the sweetness, it contains absolutely no sugar and no calories. That means you can satiate your sweet tooth without worrying about the damaging effects of sugar. It might come as a surprise, but cinnamon can actually preserve your food. The spice has antibacterial properties as well as antioxidants, both of which can be used to preserve foods. There are other ways to preserve foods. Many of these methods include dangerous toxins that could have devastating effects on your health. Cinnamon, however, is a natural way to preserve foods. In addition to keeping your food fresh, Cinnamon can actually make it healthier too. So the next time you just so the next time you want to preserve jams, jellies, or any other type of food that you have made or purchased, make sure to mix in some cinnamon. If you suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, you know how much trouble the symptoms of this condition can be. A disorder of the digestive tract, irritable bowel syndrome (IBS) puts the digestive tract into overdrive. As a result, it causes some very unpleasant symptoms, including gas, bloating, and excessive diarrhea. Cinnamon can actually help to combat the effects of IBS and relieve the symptoms associated with it. That's because it contains nutrients and compounds that regulate digestive health. If you suffer from IBS, consider adding more cinnamon to your diet. If you suffer from aches and pains as a result of soreness in your muscles, try using cinnamon. This spice has powerful anti-inflammatory properties which could help it to reduce the swelling of the muscles that may be causing your aches and pains. While ingesting it could be helpful, if you want fast relief, try applying cinnamon essential oil directly to the affected site or apply a few drops of it to bath water and enjoy a soak. It can certainly offer you some soothing relief. In order to reap the maximum effectiveness, make sure that you are using natural cinnamon in stick form. If you would like, you can grind the sticks down to create a powder and use the powder as an additive to your foods and beverages. If you are going to use cinnamon essential oil, make sure that you are using a natural organic variety. You also want to make sure that you are using a carrier oil when applying it topically, such as coconut oil, to ensure your body properly absorbs the cinnamon 
and you can take advantage of all the benefits it provides. Plus also, I think uh, if, you per, if you just apply essential oil like that to the skin, it can cause burns and stuff on your skin if it's not diluted down in something. Cinnamaldehyde is the compound in cinnamon that helps to kill so stubborn bacteria and fungi like salmonella and listeria. Salmonella is a food bacteria and the most common reason in the U.S. for cramps, diarrhea, fever, and stomach pain. Cinnamon also helps to eliminate bacteria and fungi that cause infections and diseases such as dental cavities. It works for respiratory illnesses like pharyngitis, common cold, and laryngitis. It helps to clear airway paths by removing congestion, such as mucus, lending its healing powers for cough and bronchitis. Cinnamon is an effective treatment for candidasis, an infection that may be found inside or outside the body. Candida is the fungi responsible for causing candidasis and may also cause foot infections like ringworm, toenail fungus, and athlete's foot. Oh boy, I love just talking about this stuff. <laughs> Extreme sarcasm there. Aside from its nutritional benefits, cinnamon also works as a natural insect repellent. Many insects can cause serious health and physical damage to humans, and it may be difficult to keep them away from your surroundings, especially when you live in warm and humid areas. Cinnamon helps to ward off insects like ants, wasps, flies, spiders, mosquitoes, and bedbugs. The strong smell of cinnamon is irritating to these creatures, and sprinkling cinnamon around your house may keep them away for good. One favored use for cinnamon is for grounding. People with issues with having way too much energy from others at the end of a long day. If you are an empath, I'm sure you understand the feeling. No matter how many guards you put up, you just can't keep all at bay. Cinnamon can be used in culinary capacity, burned or diffused as an essential oil to keep you grounded. Cinnamon is a great herb for attracting money. This herb is easy to come by and really cheap, making it a great option for when you are low on money and need a magical boost to your coffers. The best part is most of us have either cinnamon sticks or ground cinnamon in our kitchen. Yes, I do. Cinnamon makes a great addition to any protection magic. Add it to your favorite protection spells. You can keep a bunch of cinnamon sticks tied with a ribbon near the doors to protect your home and encourage grounding as you enter the home. Cinnamon is a strong herb that is great for calling any form of success to you. Add cinnamon to your spells when working towards success. Use cinnamon essential oil on a diffuser necklace while you work on your goals. Cinnamon is a natural aphrodisiac. Cinnamon is grounding and triggers the release of the cuddle hormone, oxytocin. This makes cinnamon a great addition to love spells or as part of any sex magic you are working on. Keep in mind that sex magic deeply correlates with money magic. So if your partner is up for joining you, have a little fun with this one. While cinnamon should be limited to normal culinary amounts during your pregnancy, childbirth is a whole new ball game. It was discovered that cinnamon can release oxytocin and in turn trigger contractions. To do this, boil a few cinnamon sticks in a cup of water to make a very strong cinnamon tea. This tea can help stimulate contractions and can be a great tool and magic designed to induce an overdue pregnancy or speed up a stalled labor. Magic comes in simple moments in our lives. When cooking, add a dash of cinnamon with intention for the goals you are working towards. This simple way of working magic into your everyday life can be done anywhere and used in your own personal practice of magic. The folk names of it are Sweetwood and Ceylon Cinnamon. Its gender is masculine. The planet is not a planet, but the sun. The element is fire. 
powers are love, protection, spirituality, success, healing, lust, and psychic powers. Now, we're getting to the smudging part. Okay, to smudge with cinnamon. Burning cinnamon still has the same healing and protection benefits. It also invites money, success, power, love, good luck, and prosperity. Use it to draw protective vibrations and stimulate psychic powers. While witches are known for burning sage like it is going out of style, one go-to smudge is actually cinnamon. This grounding herb is great for clearing out negative energy and replacing it with a calm, grounded energy. Some prefer the smell of cinnamon to smudging with sage and have no issue saving the sage for when they need to pull out the big guns around the house. Cinnamon is a great option because no one will question cinnamon sticks in your kitchen. And when people stop over and your home smells like cinnamon, they won't bat an eye. Unlike sage, that can often smell like you have been smudging your home with a particularly poignant strain of weed. <laughs> And smoke from burning cinnamon can be used for cleansing and blessing a space or items such as crystals or magical tools. Now I'll throw this piece of that in my, I guess I call it a smudging dish. I hate using that word smudging, but I've already talked about that and where that came from in a previous video. So. I won't rehash that. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope you all are having a great weekend. Happy Saturday. And uh, blessed be. And until I see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. Ha, ha, ha.